Li Lianjia born April 26, 1963, better known by his stage name Jet Li, is a Chinese-born Singaporean martial artist, former wushu champion, film actor, film producer, and philanthropist. He is widely regarded as one of the most iconic Chinese film stars and one of the most renowned martial arts stars of his generation. After three years of training with acclaimed wushu teacher Wu Bin, Li won his first national championship for the Beijing wushu team. Between 1974 and 1979, he won the title of men's all-around national wushu champion five times. After retiring from competitive wushu at age 18, Li went on to win great acclaim in China as an actor, making his debut with the film Shaolin Temple 1982, which instantly catapulted him to stardom in East Asia. He went on to star in many critically acclaimed films, most notably as the lead in Zhang Yimou's Hero 2002, Fist of Legend 1994, the first three films in the Once Upon a Time in China series 1991-1993, in which he portrayed folk hero Wang Feihang, and Fearless 2006, which is loosely based on the life of Hua Yuanjia. His movie career in China is credited with reviving Wushu in Hong Kong martial arts films during the 1990s, and revitalizing the Shaolin Temple. Li is also noted for his contribution to making new wuxia films popular internationally during his career. Li's first role in a non-Chinese film was as a villain in Lethal Weapon 4 1998, and his first leading role in a Hollywood film was as Han Singh in Romeo Must Die 2000. He has gone on to star in many international action films, including in French cinema with the Luc Besson-produced films Kiss of the Dragon 2001 and Unleashed 2005. He co-starred in The One 2001 and War 2007 with Jason Statham, The Forbidden Kingdom 2008 with Jackie Chan, the first three of The Expendables films with Sylvester Stallone, and as the title character villain in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor 2008. After a long movie career, in 2007 Lee turned to philanthropy. He founded The One Foundation, an independent fundraising foundation in mainland China which mainly focuses on natural disaster relief, environmental protection, medical treatment, education, and poverty problems. Since the start of the foundation, Li has been involved with recovery efforts in seven disasters, including the 2008 Sichuan earthquake, the 2008 Typhoon Morakot in Taiwan, and the 2013 Lushan earthquake in Yuan, Sichuan. Li also subsequently founded Taiji Zen, an online health and wellness program providing instruction in meditation and Tai Chi, early life and martial arts career Li was born in Beijing, China, and was the youngest of two boys and two girls. His ancestral home is in Shenyang, China. When he was two years old, his father died and his family then lived in poverty. Li was eight when his talent for wushu was noticed as he practiced at a school summer course. He then attended a non-sparring wushu event, followed by joining the Beijing wushu team which did a martial art display at the All-China Games. Renowned coaches Li Junfeng and Wu Bin made extra efforts to help the talented boy develop. Wu Bin even bought food for Li's family in order to boost Li's protein intake. A very young Li competed against adults and was the national all-around champion from 1975 to 1979. My winning first place caused quite a sensation because I was so young. I was 12 years old, and the other two medalists were in their mid to late 20s. During the awards ceremony, as I stood on the top step of the podium, I was still shorter than the second and third place medalists. It must have been quite a sight, Jet Li China's internet celebrity according to Li, once, as a child, when the Chinese national wushu team went to perform for President Richard Nixon in the United States, he was asked by Nixon to be his personal bodyguard. Li replied, I don't want to protect any individual. When I grow up, I want to defend my one billion Chinese countrymen. Li is a master of several styles of wushu, especially chongquan and fanziquan. He has also studied other arts including baguazang, tai chi, zingyiquin, drunken boxing, eagle claw, and praying mantis. He did not learn nanquan a southern boxing because his training focused only in the northern Shaolin styles. He has also mastered Wushu's main weapons, such as Sanji Gun Three Section Staff, Gun, Dao Broadsword, Jian Straight Sword. Li retired from competitive wushu when he was only 18 due to a knee injury, but became an assistant coach of the Beijing wushu team for a few years. Li's martial arts prowess would eventually contribute to his domestic and international fame. 
acting career Chinese and Hong Kong films Lee's handprint and autograph at the Avenue of Stars in Hong Kong The fame gained by his sports winnings led to a career as a martial arts film star, beginning in mainland China and then continuing into Hong Kong. Lee acquired his screen name in 1982 in the Philippines when a publicity company thought his real name was too hard to pronounce. They likened his career to an aircraft, which likewise takes off as quickly, so they placed the name Jet Li on the movie posters. Soon everybody was calling him by this new name, which was also based on the nickname, Jet, given to him as a young student, due to his speed and grace when training with the Beijing Wushu team. He made his film debut with the 1982 film Shaolin Temple. The film broke box office records in China, grossing CN Yen 161, 578,0148,876,199 US dollars, at the Chinese box office from an estimated 500 million ticket sales. The sequel Kids from Shaolin sold an estimated 490 million tickets, making it 1984's highest-grossing film in China. Some of his more famous Chinese films include The Shaolin Temple Series 1, 2, and 3, which are considered to be the films which sparked the rebirth of the real Shaolin Temple in Dengfeng, China, the Once Upon a Time in China series Chinese title, Wang Fei Hung, about the legendary Chinese folk hero master Wang Fei Hung Fist of Legend Chinese title, Jing Wuing Xiong, a remake of Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury. The Fong Sai Yuk films about another Chinese folk hero. Lee starred in the 1995 film High Risk, where Lee plays a captain who becomes disillusioned after his wife is murdered by crime lords. Along the way, he pairs up with a wacky sellout actor, Frankie played by Jackie Chung, and proceeds to engage in a series of violent battles in a high-rise building. The setting is similar to that of Die Hard and both their Chinese film titles. This movie is notable in that director Wang Jing had such a terrible experience working with Jackie Chan in Jing's previous film City Hunter that he chose to make Chung's character a biting satire of Chan Li would later publicly apologize to Chan for taking part in it. Li had two wuxia feature films released in 2011, The Sorcerer and the White Snake and Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, the latter was helmed by Sui Hark. To promote Tai Chi, in 2012, Li starred in a film titled Tai Chi and co-produced the movie with Chen Kua Fu. Li portrayed Tai Chi master Yang Luchin, American Western Films in 1998, he made his international film debut in Lethal Weapon 4 which also marked the first time he had ever played a villain in a film. He agreed to do Lethal Weapon 4 after the producer Joel Silver promised to give him the leading role in his next film, Romeo Must Die, alongside singer Aaliyah. The film became a box office hit. Though Lee spoke very little English at the time of production, his performance as Chinese mafia hitman Hua Sing Ku was praised. Lee turned down Chow Yun Fat's role in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2000, because he promised his wife that he would not make any films during her pregnancy. He also turned down the role of Seraph in the Matrix trilogy, based on his belief that the role was not one which required his skills and that the films were iconic and stunning enough without adding his name to the cast list. Lee was also cast as Kato in The Green Hornet when the film was still in development in 2000. In 2001, it was moved to another studio. When the film was moved on again and released in 2011, the role of Kato was portrayed by Jay Cho. In 2001, he appeared in two more films, the one, which was the first of his films with Jason Statham, and Kiss of the Dragon opposite Bridget Fonda which did moderately well at the box office. In July 2001, Lee agreed to produce and star in an action film with Jackie Chan which was to be released in 2002 or 2003, but no further news of their collaboration surfaced until 2006. In 2002, the period martial arts epic film Hero was released in the Chinese market. This film was both a commercial and critical success and became the highest-grossing motion picture in Chinese film history at the time. In 2003, he reunited with producer Joel Silver for the action thriller film Cradle to the Grave where he starred alongside rapper DMX and fellow martial artist Mark DeCascos. In 2004, Lee lent his likeness, voice and provided motion capture work for the video game Jet Li, Rise to Honor. Lee was presented the Visionary Award by East West Players, the oldest Asian American theater in the United States, in 2002 by contemporary John Woo. The award recognizes artists who have raised the visibility of the Asian Pacific American community through theater, film and television. He delivered his acceptance speech in his native language of Mandarin. Lee took on a more serious role in the 2005 film, Unleashed aka, 
Danny the Dog, where he portrayed an adult with the mentality of a child who has been raised like an animal. Although his martial arts skills were used extensively, it was a somber film with more depth than had been previously seen in Lee's films, and co-starred dramatic actors Bob Hoskins and Morgan Freeman. In 2006, the martial arts film Epic Fearless was released worldwide. Although he will continue to make martial arts films, Fearless is his last wushu epic. In Fearless, he played Hua Yuanjia, the real-life founder of Chinwu Athletic Association, who reportedly defeated foreign boxers and Japanese martial artists in publicized events at a time when China's power was seen as eroding. Together with the film Fist of Legend, Li has portrayed both Chin Jun, the student and avenger of Hua Yuanjia aka Fok Yun Gap, as well as Hua Yuanjia himself. Fearless was released on January 26, 2006 in Hong Kong, followed by a September 22, 2006 release in the United States where it reached second place in its first weekend. I stepped into the martial arts movie market when I was only 16. I think I have proved my ability in this field and it won't make sense for me to continue for another 5 or 10 years. Hua Yuanjia is a conclusion to my life as a martial arts star. Li has stated in an interview with the Shenzhen Daily Newspaper that this will be his last martial arts epic, which is also stated in the film's television promotions. However, he plans to continue his film career in other genres. Specifically, he plans to continue acting in epic action and martial arts films dealing more with religious and philosophical issues. Lee's 2007 Hollywood film, War, was released in August of that year and reteamed him with actor Jason Statham, who previously starred with him in The One, and action choreographer Corey Ewan. War raked in a disappointing 23 million US dollars at the box office, becoming one of Lee's lowest grocers in America, however, it was a hit on video, accumulating nearly 52 million US dollars in rental revenue, more than doubling its box office take. With the exception of Romeo Must Die and the worldwide release of Hero, most of Lee's American Western films have been only modest hits like Kiss of the Dragon, The One, Unleashed, Cradle to the Grave, and the worldwide release of Fearless. He has a very good control of the strength of every fist and kick. In the past, he used too much strength, those that get hit would be in great pain. He's the archetype of power. Yes, he's still the best, Yuan Wuping martial arts choreographer Li in 2006 and late 2007, Li returned again to China to participate in the China-Hong Kong co-production of the period war film The Warlords with Andy Lau and Takashi Kaneshiro. This film, with its focus on dramatics rather than martial arts, netted Li the Hong Kong Film Award for Best Actor. Li and fellow martial arts veteran Jackie Chan finally appeared together on screen for the first time in The Forbidden Kingdom, which began filming in May 2007 and was released to critical and commercial success on April 18, 2008. The film was based on the legend of the Monkey King from the Chinese folk novel Journey to the West. Li also starred as the lead villain Emperor Han in the fantasy action film The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor with actors Brendan Fraser, Isabella Leong and Michelle Yeoh. After a one-year hiatus from filmmaking, Li returned to acting in 2010, portraying a mercenary in the film The Expendables, teaming up with action stars Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, Mickey Rourke, Eric Roberts, Steve Austin, Terry Crews, and Randy Couture. It was the third time he had teamed up with Statham. In 2012, he reprised his role briefly in the sequel The Expendables 2 and returned for the third film The Expendables 3 in 2014. Lee was initially stated to be appearing with Vin Diesel in Triple X, Return of Xander Cage, but according to a Facebook post by Diesel, Lee was replaced by Donnie Yen. Lee was cast as the Emperor of China for the 2020 live-action movie, Mulan. Personal life Lee is a practitioner of Tibetan Buddhism. His master is Lo Kunsang. In 1987, Lee married Beijing Wushu team member and kids from Shaolin co-star Huang Chouyan, with whom he has two daughters, Si and Tami. They divorced in 1990. In 1999, Lee married Nina Li Chi born Li Ji, a Shanghai born, Hong Kong based actress. He has two daughters with her, Jane born 2000, and Jada born 2002. He was in the Maldives when a tsunami hit during the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. Although it was widely reported at the time that he had died during the disaster, he only suffered a minor foot injury caused by a piece of floating furniture while he was guiding his four-year-old daughter Jane and the nanny holding his one-year-old daughter Jada to safety of higher ground amid dangerously rising ocean water. 
the four of them were by the pool and slightly above the beach when the wave came ashore, barely escaping to the upper floors of a hotel building. Li was appointed by the Chinese Wushu Association as the image ambassador of Wushu at the 2007 World Wushu Championships in Beijing. In 2009, Li, who previously had U.S. citizenship after years working in the United States, renounced his U.S. citizenship. He was thought to have taken up Singaporean citizenship, although Singaporean authorities did not initially provide any confirmation of this. On July 28, 2009, the chairman of One Foundation announced that Li had indeed become a Singaporean citizen. He was said to have chosen Singapore for its education system for his two younger daughters. In 2009, he launched his own fitness program, Wuji. The program consists of elements of martial arts, yoga and Pilates, Adidas launched a special clothing line for it that bears the initials of a jail. In 2013, Lee revealed that he suffers from hyperthyroidism and had been dealing with the issue for the past three years. In 2016, he stated that he had recovered from his illness and that accepting fewer film offers was due to his charity work and not because of his health conditions. In his free time he likes to play badminton and table tennis, ride his bicycle, read and meditate. He collects rare Tibetan beads. He says he is never bored in his free time. Views on life and martial arts Lee, as a Buddhist, believes that the difficulties of everyday life can be overcome with the help of religious philosophies. He thinks that fame is not something he can control, therefore, he does not care about it. I never say to myself I'm the best fighter in the world. If someone learns martial arts solely to pick fights on the street, to lean on it as a keystone weapon in conflicts, to use it to bully and intimidate others, then that person, in my opinion, cannot be considered a true martial artist. According to Lee, everything he has ever wanted to tell the world can be found in three of his films, the message of Hero is that the suffering of one person can never be as significant as the suffering of a nation, Unleashed shows that violence is never a solution, and Fearless tells that the biggest enemy of a person is himself. Lee thinks that the greatest weapon is a smile and the largest power is love. About Wushu, he said that he believes the essence of martial arts is not power or speed but inner harmony, and considers it a sad development that today's Wushu championships place greater emphasis on form than on the essence of being a martial artist. He believes Wushu now lacks individuality and competitors move like machines, whereas according to his views Wushu should not be considered a race where the fastest athlete wins. He would like to see Wushu as a form of art, where artists have a distinctive style. Lee blames the new competition rules that, according to him, place limitations on martial artists. Lee believes that Wushu is not primarily for self-defense and instead of trying to play the hero people should think about peaceful resolutions of conflicts and call the police if necessary, a gun outdoes years of martial arts training in a split second. Like I've said many times before, it is important to differentiate between movies and reality. The hero in movies may be able to knock the gun off his opponent and save the day, but in real life, probably that is not the case. He has also stated that he has never had to use his martial arts skills in a real-life fight and he does not wish to either. Taiji Zen In 2011, Lee founded Taiji Zen, along with co-founder executive chairman Jack Ma Taiji Zen combined the martial art of Tai Chi with practices such as meditation. It packaged these into several different classes and online programs. Philanthropy Lee speaks at the World Economic Forum in Tianjin, China, September 2008 Lee has been a philanthropic ambassador of the Red Cross Society of China since January 2006. He contributed 500,000 yuan of box office revenues from his film Fearless to the Red Cross Psychological Sunshine Project, which promotes mental health. In April 2007, touched by his life-shaking experience in the Maldives when he was close to dying during the 2004 tsunami, Lee formed his own non-profit foundation called the One Foundation. The One Foundation supports international disaster relief efforts in conjunction with the Red Cross as well as other efforts, including mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Since the starting of the foundation, Lee has been involved with recovery efforts in seven disasters, including the 2008 Sichuan earthquake and Typhoon Morakot in Taiwan. In the 2013 Lushan earthquake in Yuan, Sichuan, Lee and other members of the entertainment sector were the first to appeal for donations of money, goods and materials to help the victims of the disaster. Wu Jing was a One Foundation volunteer and helped in the effort. Lee discussed his commitment to philanthropy in an interview with the December 2009 issue of Alliance magazine, 
stating that grassroots non-government organizations can help the government in its blind spots. Government relief is not always detail-oriented. Grassroots NGOs can't be as big as a government effort, but they need to be flexible and independent. In September 2010, he was appointed by the International Red Cross as the first Goodwill Ambassador. He posted online, saying, Today I signed a deal with the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, to become the first Goodwill Ambassador in the history of this humanitarian organization. I am very honored. At the same time, I will not pause to celebrate, but instead keep pushing forward and do my best to help the world. Thank you all once again for your support and belief in me. It was also announced in September 2010, when Lee was attending his wax unveiling ceremony in Hong Kong Madame Tussauds, that Lee would be meeting Bill Gates and Warren Buffett to talk about charity work. Three days ago, I received an email from Gates, hoping I could make time because he and Buffett hoped I could go for a 30-minute chat before the dinner about the future we face as human beings, so I will go, Lee said. Filmography by U.S. Box Office Statistics The most successful Jet Li film as of August 2010 is Lethal Weapon 4, which grossed over $130 million domestically, while the second is The Expendables with over $103 million. Hero is the third most successful foreign language film in the U.S., and one of the most critically acclaimed Lee movies. Fearless is the seventh most successful foreign language film of all time in the U.S. From an aggregated critical point of view, the best acclaimed Lee movie is Fist of Legend Rotten Tomatoes, 100%, and the worst is War Rotten Tomatoes, 14%.